Janet. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you, all of my subscribers. I really want to say thank you. I appreciate you guys. I really do appreciate it. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe, like my video, share my video, and then uh, do not hesitate to hit on the subscribe on the notification bell just below the subscribe button to get updated yeah notification bell below the subscribe button whenever i upload a new video today actually i decided to uh, to make something um new this um season yeah i just want to try give it a try and i call it um subscribers request so what i want you guys to do for instance you can see what i'm putting on and whatever style and you are finding it difficult you actually want to make it and you actually don't know how to go about it all you have to do is just go to go on facebook at stylish niger and post a picture of the dress and all you have to do is just write subscribers request so once i see it i'll know that you actually came on you are one of my subscribers from youtube that came so you we have uh, two groups i have a sewing group which is called stylish niger sewing group it is on facebook and then stylish niger that is the page so both of them are on facebook if you if you if you want to go on instagram you could go on instagram at stylish niger just drop it inbox me drop it and then write subscriber request once i see subscriber request i'm actually going to give it reference yeah i clapped again <laughs> so i'm actually going to give it a preference yeah so today like you can see on uh, this dress that i'm actually going to be illustrating today this dress that i'm actually going to be illustrating today it is um a very fitted dress it's not like, like very fitted sorry it's not like very fitted it's like a captain like dress you could see it is long it has the middle piece the middle has uh, like plackets that were done with um, petals and then has a placket at the middle and then the, the, the sleeve it's a two layer sleeve the first part which is the basic sleeve pattern and then the tiered sleeve is just like a balloon sleeve you just um pick it up so that is it so today i'm actually going to be illustrating it and showing you how to achieve this look so that is what i'm going to be doing today so now let's dive to our work table and then do this so now i'm just gonna be inserting the measurement so i've made out some couple of lines for this illustration to actually make it uh, fast so what i have here the first line i have here is the shoulder line and then from the shoulder, half an inch, you leave half an inch on top that you are going to use to join the shoulder. So from the shoulder line to the to the bust line is 9 inches. That's from the shoulder line to this point. This is the bust line. That's, this is where the circumference is, where the nipple is. So it's 9 inches. Then from the shoulder line to the waist line, which is this point, is 16 17 inches sorry is 17 inches then from your from your waistline to your hip line you actually use them um, between eight and nine inches so actually what i have here is uh is eight and a half inches you use between eight inches and nine inches so that is where from your waistline so that's where the hip will be and then the full length of your dress so you measure out the full length so this is an illustration so see, because this is a draft sorry so what I have here is actually 35 inches. So now insert the measurement. So for beginners, the first thing you do in making this kind of cartoon like dress, what you do is you measure your shoulder. Your shoulder measurement, you divide it into two. So for this, I actually have 12 inches. That's the shoulder. You put it from one end to the other. And then you measure. You have and you could watch another of my videos on how to take accurate measurement. So I have and what I have here is 12 inches. So you divide you have six inches so i'm just going to make a mark here like this and then i'll take my my ruler and then i'll come down by seven inches i'm going to be making use of seven inches for my armhole so i'll just take it like this and then come down by seven inches and then make a straight line here you could decide to make use of your armhole curve for this so you come in come out um, by half an inch to the midpoint of your of your armhole line so you come down just take it like this half an inch like this and then you come like this out like this and then you go like this so the next thing i'm going to be doing now 
is the bust line so the bust line what i'm going to what you do for the bust line after measuring out the, the bust circumference you divide it into four and then for this uh, illustration the bust is actually 32 inches so when you divide into four you have eight inches so this is eight inches so this is my eight inches for the bust measurement so i'm just going to come like this i'll just use dotted lines when i'm done i'll connect all of them together so the next thing is the waistline which is this point so you also measure the waistline what i have here is 28 inches so when you divide into four you have seven inches you have seven inches so it's coming like this so i'm just going to be coming like this just using dotted lines so the next thing I have, I'm going to be doing now is the hip line. So for the hip line, it's actually 36 inches. So when you divide into four, you have nine inches. So I'm just going to come like this and then come to the midpoint. It's always easier that way. You come to the midpoint and I'll measure out my nine inches. So it's always easier for you to do this. In order for you to get your core very well because if you notice this dress is not like the hip it's not like shooting out because it's not really fitted it's just like kind of like a straight like a triangle like like a triangle like hip shape and then you come down two inches from your hip line you come down two inches in order for you to blend your to blend your hip properly so from here this is where your hip disappears down so for the down part you could decide to if you see the dress you, you could decide to to maintain the hip measurements and then use it down straight you just make use of the hip measurements like that down so because the dress is like straight so now i'm just going to be connecting my lines now so i'm just going to do this So you could see what I have. So the next thing I'm going to be doing now, I'm going to be cutting out the neck measurements, the neckline, sorry. So I'll just take my tape like this. For this kind of dress, you could see the neck is really, is really high. So you could measure, but the standard is between, of the width is between two and a half and three inches. So I'll just make use of one, three inches here. And then the depth, the depth, I'm going to be making use of two inches, between two and one and a half inch. So I'm just going to do this. I just dot it out and then just do this and then for the shoulder slant i'm just going to come here and then measure one inch from this point and then i'm going to be slanting it down to this point like this i'll slant it to to my shoulder line point so i'm just going to cut that out first what i have so with this now i'm going to be cutting out the back piece so the only thing i'm going to be doing is i'm just going to be adding two inches allowance to the back piece so that's just it so i when i'm done i'll add the allowance on the side of this so i'm just going to go ahead now and do that and then i'll make use of um half an inch on all the edges So the next thing I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be showing you how to add the placket to reach to the middle point of this uh, captain like dress. So that's what I'm going to be doing. So what you need to take note of is this middle line. Make sure it's on the middle line and the middle line is straight. So you could see what was actually done here was like um, a petals, little petals. So all you have to do is you just take your piece of paper like this. And then draw depends on what you want this you could decide to switch up your style a little bit you could just draw something like this and then when i'm done i'm going to show you how to measure the length you could draw something like this like a heart shape like a heart shape so and then you measure how many inches so for this i'm actually going to be making use of three inches for this 
so it's because it's not supposed to be too big or too small so you fold like this you're actually going to be working with one part of this i'm actually going to be working with one part of this so i'll just take my scissors like this and then i'll cut it out like this so this is like the petals that were used but that was used for this so this is actually how it was cut this is how the petals was cut so i have to, I have to actually have some laid out here already so i just used um colored papers to indicate so you could see what i have so in folding it all you have to do is just bring it like this what what you do after cutting out your petals the way you want them depends on the size you cut out two pieces of this so you sew and then you turn from this edge you sew around the whole of these edges you sew it on this edge like this and then you turn it in in so like what i'm saying is you take two pieces like this and then you sew you stitch around and then you turn and then you iron so that's how you do it so when you're done the easy way for you to do this before you cut out the placket you choose uh, the length of how long you actually want your placket to be so for this i think i'm just going to go with uh, 14 inches so we're going to be stopping here at 14 inches which is from the from the neckline this is 14 inches so i'm just going to mark it like this and then we're going to be stopping here so in order for you to cut this this is the petal so i've showed you how to cut the petals after sewing and turning all you have to do is just take it like this this edge and you push it to this side and then take this other edge you push it to this side so and then you you just use your hand you could decide to make use of a pin to just secure it or you could just stitch it and then you keep it on the side so i already have some i had to use some colored papers to do them so for, for it to be different so i'm just going to show you how to attach it here now so in order for me to cut out uh, the planket that I'm going to be using, so I'll just get another paper and then measure out, uh, I'll just keep it, put it on fold like this, I'll put it on fold. So it actually depends on how wide you actually want it to be. So I'm just going to be measuring from this point, I'll just take my tape is usually and uh, two inches is usually okay two inches is usually okay so uh, you just make it two and a half the reason for making it two and a half is because you are actually going to be you're actually going to be stitching it turning it and then i and then um ironing it also you, you sew it and turn it and then tuck in the edges You can see this is my two and a half inch so i'm just going to show you how to, how easy it is to do it so you fold it like this in order for you to get the down part like i told you the length you measure i already measured out on 14 inches i suppose yeah 14 inches so this is 14 inches but I'm not going to be stopping it at 14 inches. I'm just going to, this is my 14 inches here. So I'm just going to be playing around with this point to make sure I get it correctly before I trim it out in the up part. So for this down part, so you could see what was done here. It was just something like I'm making, and for plackets, just making something like a curve like this. You could see. You see, just make a curve like this and then you cut out. After cutting it out, you open it up, make sure you have, okay, what you have is really fine. So I'm just going to be coloring out this paper now, just to make it um, beautiful. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that. So I have my paper out. So when you cut um, this placket, because of the two and a half inch you cut, you take it to your ironing table, you iron your interfacing on it, which will be like a gum stay or hair stay. And then the edges, you fold, you use the half inch 
to fold it because you really need to have very neat you really need very, very neat edges for this you fold out you use the half edge five half inches and then you fold it out iron it and press it out neatly because that's what you are going to be using to be doing your finishing so and then you get your petals i'm just going to bring them like this and then you start placing them you use this line you could decide to rule to make a line but since the line of the the center line is already okay i'm just going to go with the center line so i'm just going to do this you start from this point because you could see it was it started from the neck line point so you could you just take that and then you place the second one you make sure make sure that they are equal and then you do the second one like this so you can see what i have so in attaching this all you have to do is you just attach them like this and then you top stitch top stitch top stitch and when you get to this point you stop you top stitch them and you stop you find out that it is rough so this is where your planket now comes in so all you have to do is you now take your planket like this and then place here at the middle you just place it like this at the middle to that um, 15 point and then you give it a clean stitch with a matching thread you match it straight like this on the whole edges you match it out very neat and straight so i'm just going to use um my my tape you now to, 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 to secure it in order for you to see it so you can see what i have so the next thing you do now this is where the neckline comes in after securing it then, then you cut out the excess that you had that it was there, you just trim it with the neck line like this, and then it will be so perfect. So you can see what I have. So you can see what I have. So you just place it like this, and then for the, and then for the sleeve, you could you soon saw that the sleeve is like a two two tier um sleeve. So I have a video of it on my channel, so I'll just put drop the link down below. It's like a balloon sleeve. So I'll drop the link down below. I'm not going to be doing it here. So, and then with this piece now, you cut out the back. The only thing you add to this is two inch. You just add a two inch extra allowance, which you are going to be using for the zipper allowance for the back because it actually has a zip. But if you know you don't want it to have a zipper, all you have to do is just, you make it a little bit freer. So this is it. So this is how you actually make this um, gorgeous and um, stylish captain like fitted dress so you could call it a captain like fitted dress you could call it a dress you could call it whatever you choose to call it but the style is beautiful so thank you so much guys for this uh re subscriber request um wednesday thank you so much so if you find this video helpful please do not hesitate to hit on the like button like the video share the video tell your friends about it share it with your friends and uh if you have not subscribed like i said subscribe so thank you so much and do not forget to drop your video your style and request yeah drop them and stylish ninja drop them so thank you so much and god bless you ciao bye